Well, there are questions tonight about Alberta's new health care administrator and how she got the job. Janet Davidson admits that she was approached before the old board was fired. Susan Amarogan covering this story for us, joining us in studio with more details. Susan. Joel, Janet Davidson's introduction at a media news conference today was somewhat overshadowed. I'm so pleased to be back in Alberta. Janet Davidson, a former nurse, spent many years here in Alberta and elsewhere, serving as a senior executive, most recently with KPMG. Davidson's arrival is being met with speculation. And I fully realize that people are going to speculate on this. She was hired only hours after the AHS board was fired. Early this morning, I informed the Alberta Health Services Board Chair and the members of the AHS board that I am terminating their appointment effective immediately. Horn says the situation became complicated when the board went against his directive to cancel millions of dollars in bonus pay to senior executives. He explains the Health Act stipulates an administrator or board must be in place, but Davidson admits she was contacted prior to their firing. It was late Tuesday. The opposition Wild Rose says it has concerns about the timing. Carrie Toll says she recalls back in February, Horn promised he wouldn't get involved in the AHS board and that he trusted them to make the right decision. So that's what it's always said. So if that was truly the process, then why would you need to reach out to Ms. Davidson earlier unless you had every intention of firing them? Davidson's debut also coincides with the release of a government commissioned report into the roles and responsibilities of the board and the health department. It's true that we've had the report completed. The completion date is February. The report was posted online on Wednesday, the same day the board was fired and Davidson was hired. Well, quite honestly, I think you didn't see it because they didn't want you to see it. Um, it was released, you know, sort of clandestinely onto the website. Well, we didn't keep it from the public. Uh, the intention was always to make it public. The lengthy report cites numerous findings, including that the government has been overly involved in the operation of AHS, and at times, AHS was too involved in the management of health care. The recommendations reflect the, the structure that we had until um, earlier this week. Uh, and so uh, we've moved beyond that. Horn says moving forward, one of Davidson's first administrative tasks will be to examine the pay bonuses promised to nearly 100 senior AHF staff by the former board. Horn says he wants a quick resolution to the issue, Joel. He wants a quick resolution, but it sounds like it's a bit of a complicated situation. It is complicated, and that's what, exactly what the minister said. And Horn also said he can't speculate on what options they have, adding, quote, they are in a bit of a legal quagmire. All right.